Hello everybody, this is another video from Your Mad Salvi. This time they're actually going after Doki Bird. It, you know how Twitter can be. Twitter can be a vile place. And while there are some good things that can come out of things like this, there are also bad times. Doki Bird hasn't actually done anything wrong, but that doesn't stop the Twitter mob from actually trying to get at her because she is a new target. What exactly are they going for? Uh, let me let you know. Right now, this is what started it all. Doki Bird said, I'll be doing a Hot Ones collab with Fidlian, and this was, I believe, yesterday that they did it. On our Twitch channel, submit some hot topics you want us to discuss, and we eat some spicy wings here. She ate some very spicy stuff, apparently, because she has some tolerance to that stuff. First thing that happened was this to VTuber right here. Not even an actual VTuber, in the sense of they don't have their model, I don't think. And they are a VTweeter, as it's called. While it is fine for you to be tweeting and, you know, being where in your spaces, however you are, you are going and bringing vitriol to an actual content creator, someone that creates content for others to enjoy, to consume, actually gets creative with their things. Of course, there are artists who are creative as well, but artists don't do this. The creative artists don't do this. The creative people don't do this. They don't try to knock someone else down when they're barely trying to get themselves back up. And they don't try to work with gotchas or whatever in order to get people on you know, because they didn't do this or because they're working with X or Y. I don't like it when this stuff happens. And that's why I bring it out into the open. Because, you know, evil stays strong when you leave it in the dark, so to speak. Now, what did this VTuber, VTweeter have to say about everything? They have an issue with this Fillion person. Of course, everyone knows Fillion. A lot of people know Fillion. She's very popular. She did VTuber awards and everything recently. So she's pretty popular. Uh, because she has AI art. Phil I N, Phil A I N, basically. And she says, Hey, Doki, I'm sure you mean no harm, but Phil is pro AI. It's right on her profile. It's a huge disrespect to artists, and I'd like her to help be accountable. Now, I have heard, yes, AR, AI art can be bad for if it's stealing art, etc., and used as a method of being commercialized, etc. That can be bad. AI art in and of itself isn't bad. For example, if you're like me and you don't know how to draw for Jack Squat, you can use AI art. AI art to kind of get ideas, something that you could possibly draw yourself, use as inspiration. As long as you're not taking food out of the mouth of an artist, I think it's pretty okay. And Fillion isn't taking food out of the artist's mouth because she has her own Fillion art uh, tag separate from Fillion AI art. Why does she have it separate from AI art? Because she gets so much art, you do not want there to be a mix. You do not want there to be a question, is this AI or was this done by an artist? She doesn't want that. No one wants that. That's why she has her Fillion AI art section, her tag. And they even said, with novel AI, a pretty Fillion is generated. You get the fox girl look with pretty Fillion. I personally have zero issues with this, as long as it's not directly stealing from an artist and it's not directly, like, tracing their art. Like, for example, if you have it drawn in the art style of said artist, of X artist, that is not a good one, in my opinion. Let's continue down, down further, where we have... Uh, I'm going to go directly with this one. We have other people, as you saw down there. But I'm going to go directly with this one. She goes down here. Real CCs wouldn't use AI to steal from artists. Please use your votes wisely, basically, on, on some kind of fit and dance thing that was done with AI, I guess. It appears y'all are being too forgiving about your use of AI. If you have dedicated tag for it, it'll only encourage it more. Also, she actively uses AI herself. This is more than just separating the art from the artist. Look, if she wants to use AI, fine. And I'm pretty sure she's paid artists as well. She has that option. Don't try to cancel Doki Bird because she's associated with someone like this. Is Fillion is not a bad person. Fillion is not bad at all. But of course, in this world, the way the world works, all these past things, past ideas, past whatevers, if you're big enough, they're going to have haters. And those haters are definitely going to go after you for this type of stuff. So she says, adding to the thread, please look at the second image. Stop promoting it, but not because it's unethical or ugly or whatever, but because I really want to eat after graduation. I understand that from an artist's point of view. I absolutely commiserate with the artists because if this takes money out of your pocket, money out of commissions, then yes, yeah, I can see why you wouldn't like AR, AI art. But people like myself who do not have a lot of money coming in, sometimes we can't commission artists, but I'm also... Like I said before, I'm not going to put it up as my art and I'm not going to put it up as like uh, actual art on my channel. What I will do is that sometimes I'll, I'll post it on Twitter, be like, oh, look what AI created for me. But I will mark it as AI. I have commissioned artists in the past to create my PNG when I originally started and also to help with the ears and the tail that you see here. 
So I have paid artists in the past. When there's no money, sometimes you have to go AI. It happens. Girl just wanted to eat spicy wings. No need to make everything into a, dr a, a crime, basically. C complain to Philly and not Doki. This comes off as drama, drama baiting. Yeah, basically. She's getting blowback by a lot of people. AI art should never be promoted. It's a stain on the community and it's harmful. You have people that, that help her. Most likely this is to prevent AI art from flooding the actual art tag. Yes, that's what it, exactly what it was. And you keep going down. She doubles down, triples down. Then eventually she starts trying to plug herself. I can understand that no, that some people believe that no... Uh, no attention, like, there is no such thing as bad attention. Even bad attention is good attention. Is It's something, it's it's some kind of, you know, positive. I don't see it that way. Um, she's just she's trying to appreciate some positivity. She's putting out her art. She has good art. It's not bad. But you started off on the wrong foot. You're going to get a lot of people that are going to hate you now because you started off on the wrong foot. You went after someone who right now is a pretty much in the VTuber community, almost like a, a a saint, almost. I mean, everyone knows that everyone has bad stuff, but you're going after someone who is surrounded by positivity, who's just trying to get to know other people out there, trying to collab and, you know, bring back the atmosphere that her community had. And you are bringing this negativity into it. And now you're trying to push your art out. I doubt you're going to get any commissions. Maybe you'll get some or two from other artists or things like that. But you really messed up. You, you screwed the pooch, as they say. Then, they, as, as always happens, they moved on to something that Fillion said a long time ago. And she apologized at that moment, from what I saw. She definitely did apologize. And um, she just made this a, a big thing. This. Said, think about it. Of course. Said, think about I'm not the real streamer, you guys are. You're breathtaking. You're breathtaking. You're all breathtaking. Chat, that was an effing quote from George Floyd. All right, is she on drugs or something? No, not right now. All right. <laughs> Was that edgy or not? <laughs> a little too edgy, but for some people. I'm so sorry, Chad. I'm sorry. That was a little. I think people were saying that she, it was too edgy, and that's when she apologized. So she did apologize. It kind of seemed seemed like a a oh holy crap, uh, what's going on type of apology. And um, I do think she definitely, that was kind of like an apology. I do feel that that was an apology to be said. And she says here, sorry to add more to this. Philin did make an insensitive comment about George Floyd. I'm not educated enough to, on this topic to speak about it in full. And unaware if she actually already apologized or not. If she never did, the black community definitely deserves one. Looks like she did apologize. So, like, I, I just, I can't believe that people would go after someone like Doki for you know, associating themselves with Fillion because they're not associating themselves with things that Fillion has said. They're so they're just trying to make more content. They're doing something that this Ray person, I'm just going to be a little bit honest here, doesn't seem to be doing herself or themselves. They don't seem to be actually creating content, just kind of trying to ride, I don't know, whatever wave. And being a V tweeter, well, that's, that's fine. It's like, don't criticize other people's video content unless you have some of your own. Sounds gatekeepy. Sounds a little bit gatekeepy, and I understand. And if you disagree with me, of course, let me know in the comments, and we can have a little bit of debate about it. I don't mind constructive criticism. If you guys see this as something that that you know I get it, I got it fully wrong. Then let me know as well in the in the comments down below. Of course, my uh, everything is in the description when it comes to my socials, and I will have a video up for you right now in front of you, hopefully, so that you can maybe take a look and see if it's not something that you enjoy. Then that's fine too. But I think you'll enjoy this. Thank you so much. This is the Matt Salvi. I will be seeing you all next time. Bye-bye.